Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple inventory management system using Python. This is simple chicken shop inventory management system Python. Here chicken, there will be the two options, gram and kilogram. If you choose gram, uh, one kilo I have uh, put the price as 100. So I am going to buy two kilos. So quantity I am going to type two, here 200. Okay, will be the price. If you are buy three, three hundred. If I change the option as gram, I'm going to buy three hundred gram. The price will be thirty. I'm going to buy seven fifty gram, seventy five. It's working. The program is working perfectly. Now let I explain the code. So first, what I'm going to see how I have already installed the editor, which is a PyCharm. If you are not installed the editor on your machine, you must install the editor which is a PyCharm, which will be the good editor for when you are writing the Python program. Okay, yeah. when you are writing the Python code, this is a very famous editor. You must install the PyCharm. After install PyCharm, you can see the user interface look like this. How to create a new project? So, file new project. You have to specify the project name. Chicken shop. Press enter key. This window, no problem. You have to wait until the project has been created. Okay, you have to wait. After project has been created, this is a main dot py. This is a main. Uh, this is a main file of PHP, uh, Python. This is a py is an extension of Python, right? So here I'm going to paste what is a code. So all the code I'm going to paste it. If I instead of writing, it take too much of time to complete the video. Uh, so it's so boring so that I already written the code. I will explain it. Okay, first this is a geo application of Python You have to you have to write import tkinter as tk. You have to import the namespace like this. This is very much Okay, right after that what I did here is we have created the root tk this one This is the size of the screen when the program is displayed. This is size of the screen of we have to display 300 by 200 right Rope title means this is a title I have given chicken soup system, right? So here we have set the variable string or uh, rope. So this is this should one should be the option list. Option list means this is the option list. Okay, we have set. So we have to create the variable set option list zero. So we have to write like this. So that's how we have set it into the window. We have to write like this. Okay. So after the what I did here is we have to write the same op list the width. Which we have specified the height width and uh, what is the size we have to display we are 12 we have to give the kilogram and gram what is the size we have to display to 12 so we have to write tag side top we have to top here at the top it will be displayed okay we have to set the align here okay so we have set the align okay this is the option this option this means this is the list okay this is the list combo box right okay Right. After that, we have to create the global variable and set. This is calculate the final total. So we have n cell equal. We have to write like this. So label test. We have to create the labels. Okay. So we have to red. Red means this is a, it will be it will be the total will be displayed. Here. Okay. Right. So after that, what I did here is we have to create the label uh, chicken. Chicken means this is the label chicken. Okay. After that, what I did is this place we have to assign. This is the place we have to be displayed here. After that, we have to write the quantity. The place we are x x ten y. 80 means this is the position uh, chicken place x equal 10 y equal 10 it will be displayed here this is all the location how will be set is place it as by the experience you have to learn at the first time you can't learn how the position set in python by the experience you have to if you did uh, two or three programs at python you will be familiar of python okay after that you will be automatically you have come what is the place you have to the uh, label uh, would display and text box which will be display which position you you can get the idea okay it's it's no problem uh, today it will be very easy stuff okay you will be you will be able to manage okay i'll i will reveal all the secret my, uh, what i have so you will be able to understand i'm not going to add anything else what i need i am given everything to you. okay valuable all the stuff i'm going to uh, give to you okay so here the total it's a total this is a total label so the font we have to uh, 20 red this is the this is where the total will be displayed you have calculate here two kilo price 
two kilo here. This total will be this is the thick red. The red, the font color red. This is the font which will be I will be putting the font. It will display here all the stuff here. TK button. We have button. We have put cap. Okay, cap. Button text will be in the cap. Okay, that's how we have type. Uh, even root, even place, 80, 80 mean this is the text field I have said, 88. Right, that's how we have placed it here. Very simple. Okay. So after that, we will be do the validation part. So when you enter the quantity over here, click OK uh, Cal button. What happen is, this is a Cal button. It's called the function which is a OK function. OK function. What I did here is chicken equal variable one to get. Variable one to get mean. Uh, variable one means this is but this, this is the option. So option bar we have create a variable. It's a variable. I create the variable called variable. So variable, what is your option you are selected? It will be assigned with the variable chicken. Amount, what is the amount you are given? Amount means this quantity. What is the amount uh, quantity you are given? It, it, it I am going to uh, put the data type as float. You have type like this. It assigned with the amount here. Okay, if chicken equal kilogram. If the chicken, chicken means this, this one. If you choose the option as kilogram, we have to do the following calculation part. Tot, you have to get the variable tot equal amount. What is the amount you are given here? The amount means the quantity what you are given here. Uh, one kilo price I have put it here is 100. It will be calculated in this one. Okay. Otherwise, you have to select the option as kilogram, uh, gram. Do by by following the calculation total equal amount divided by thousand because uh, one kilo gram uh, equal to thousand gram. So we have to follow uh, keep on the condition. We have to do is here thousand by one kilo price hundred. We have to do by this calculation. Where it should be printed in decimal equal set total total means here this dot we have to print that. So we have to given like this. Next step. this is the. Uh, uh, text box name we have given here. Here is the text box name we have given here. It's a, here is a name. Where the total will be displayed at the final. This of here calculation will be work. Okay, the very simple system. We have to you must learn this one. Very easy stuff. Uh, if you are going for the Python developer, you must learn this kind of uh, system. This is all the source code I will provide you. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me. Like me, thank you for watching.